Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa and the name of my channel is called Gnostic Knowledge and uh, what I do on this channel is share information regarding Gematria and I am doing that by reading uh, various blogs from various bloggers who blog about Gematria and um, today um, which is December 13th 2020 on Thursday I am going to read a blog uh, written by Simple Truth Television and this blog comes from Thursday December 20th of 2018 and it is entitled Draymond Green the son of Magic Johnson okay so Magic Johnson's birthday is August 14th 1959 uh, and at that time he was 59 years old uh, Draymond Green his birthday is March 4th, 1990, and at that time he was 28 years old, okay? So, Magic and Draymond have birthday spans that are 11,160 days apart. In numerology, this sequence is read as 116. So, from uh, Friday, August 4th, 1959, to Sunday, March 4th, 1990, is... 11,160 days and so um, the date numerology would be uh, calculated as such uh, third month fourth day 1990 you would add 3 plus 4 plus 19 plus 90 that equates to 116 Draymond was born on a date leaving 302 days left in the year and so in Gematria terms, that would be read as 32. And there was uh, the days left in the year uh, from March 4th uh, is 302 days. Magic Johnson wore the number 32. The word Johnson, the name Johnson equates to 32 in reduction. Magic born in 59, a number stamped all over black history, absolutely. The word slave equals 59 in English ordinal. The word negro equals 59 in English ordinal. And man, that's just the way it is. It's crazy. Draymond Green plays for the Warriors. Warriors equates to 59, reverse full reduction. Both players have common gematria to the teams they both played for. Okay, Showtime Lakers, I'm not familiar, familiar with that moniker, but Showtime Lakers equals 61 in full reduction. Magic Johnson equals 61 reverse full reduction. Draymond, and his name is spelled D-R-A-Y-M-O-N-D, like Drummond, but it's Draymond. Draymond Green equates to 64, reverse full reduction. And Dubs, D-U-B-S, equates to 46 in English uh, ordinal. The inverse of 46 is 64, or the reflection of, yep. Draymond Green equates to 64 reverse for reduction. Magic alleged to have contacted the HIV virus. HIV positive equates to 64 in full reduction. The NBA often pairs the number 23 and 32 because its numerology is 55. God and Satan, those names, well, the name God and Satan both have gematria of 55. Wow. The, uh, the word or phrase 23 written as a word equates to 55. The word God equates to 55 in reverse order. 23 equates to 55 in full reduction cipher and God equals 55 in the reverse ordinal cipher Satan equals 55 in the re, uh, in English ordinal okay HIV speech was on November 7th 1991 or 11791 okay notice the team magic owns has the same gematria as the date of his HIV announcement speech so the Dodgers equates to 117 reverse ordinal. 
um, so that would be so the date uh, how you would add it up for November 7th 1991 you would add 1 plus 1 plus 7 plus 19 plus 91 that equates to 119 okay amazing Urban Johnson won his first NBA title on June 1st 1979 wow was that long ago that is amazing okay so the date you would add is um, 6 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 9 which is in representation of June 1st 1979 when you add those numbers up in this in that fashion it equates to 33 NBA finals equates to 33 and 4 reduction magic like as in magic Johnson magic equates to 33 in English ordinal Irvin equates to 33 full reduction Wow Draymond Green has an interesting nickname Dre magic <laughs> Wow that is the end of that um, very very telling and interesting blog by um, Simple Truth Television and Simple Truth Television also has a YouTube channel that um, I would encourage you guys to uh, check out if you haven't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I just watched the video that Arthur, well, Simple Truth Television did on this young man, Lorenzo Talaferro. So I'm going to read this blog as well. So, and this is from December 17th, 2020, today, Thursday, okay? This is when this blog was posted. Former Baltimore Ravens running back Lorenzo Talaferro dead at age 28. My goodness. So, Lorenz Talaferro, former Baltimore Ravens right back or running back. I'm assuming I'm horrible with sports, so <laughs> uh, I believe he's a running back. Did he say that up here? Uh, yes, running back. Sorry. Uh, he's dead at 28. And I'm trying to see, can I, I'm trying to make out these words here. Okay, former Baltimore Ravens running back Lorenzo Talaferro died Wednesday at age 28, according to the New York, um, I can't make out that word, but it's the Sheriff's Office in Virginia, Pocoson, I think it's P-O-Q-U-O-S-O-N. But anyway, that's the police, the sheriff's office in Virginia. Okay, deputies were dispatched to an apartment in Williamsburg, Virginia, around 3 p.m. after the sheriff's office said they received a call from someone in need of medical attention, later identified as Talaferro. After medics arrived, Talaferro was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Authorities didn't provide cause of death. However, a family member told Fox 45 of Baltimore that he died of a heart attack. Wow, at 28. That is just amazing. <clears throat> and you can read the rest of the, um, the news report at, you know, and you, at your own leisure. I want to get to the um, gematria of this. And uh, remember, you can visit um, Simple Truth uh, Television's blog page by visiting Simple Truth Television blogspot.com. And you can read all of the blogs that he he's posted a lot of great blogs and especially for your sports enthusiasts he does a lot he does a lot on everything but uh, and I know he does a lot of great work with sports decodes and things of that nature so anyway this young man Lorenzo Talaferro he's dead at age 28 born on a date with 28 numerology and died on a date with 28 numerology so the date you would add together you would add it as uh, so it's 12 month 23rd day I'm assuming that what day did he die on let me get back here uh, well Wednesday so yeah it's a couple of days ago so it'd be 12 23 uh, 
Oh, maybe this is. Oh, this is the day he was. This is the day he was born. I'm sorry. So, 12th month. I'm assuming 23rd day, 1991. And that, and when you add one plus two plus two plus three plus one plus nine plus nine plus one, that equates to 28. And then 12 plus 16 equates to 28. Okay. Uh, the word kill equates to 28 in reverse full reduction. Okay. So from Monday, December 23rd, 2019 to Wednesday, December 16, 2020 is 359 days. The number 359 is the 72nd prime number. And heart attack equates to 72 in uh, reverse full reduction. Wow. The Baltimore Ravens' current head coach is John Harbaugh. H-A-R-B-A-U-G-H. Okay. Uh, his date of birth is September 23rd, 1962. And uh, from Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. To Wednesday, December 16th, 2020 is 84 days. Wow. Jesuit equals 84. Lorenzo equates to 84 in reverse ordinal. Wow. Um, from, February, uh, from Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020 to December 16th, 2020 is... 85 days. National Football League equates to 85. That is just, you know, it's crazy how they sync and link all these things together. And that is the end of the uh, blog on this young man, you know, Talaferro. And then I will go ahead and read um, the last blog. He Not the last blog, but... Um, <sighs> This blog is from uh, Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. And I did watch the video that um, Simple Truth Television did on this uh, Instagram model. And her name is Jocelyn Kano. And she's dead at the age of 29. And she's referred to as the Mexican Kim Kardashian. Jocelyn Kano dead at 29. Mourning the passing of the American model, Lyra Galore suggests that the Internet personality died while getting surgery, possibly a cosmetic procedure in Colombia. Wow. So I'm just going to delve into the Gematria aspect, the Gematria side of uh, this story that Simple Truth Television has provided. So, <clears throat> December 7, written... 12 slash 7 like 1 to 7, okay? Mexican Kim Kardashian equals 127, reverse full reduction, okay? The word execution equals 127, reverse ordinal. The news broke 56 days after Kim Kardashian's birthday. Society of Jesus equates to 56. Wow. 56 days after Kim Kardashian's birthday. And as we know, coronavirus equates to 56. And there's nothing about coronavirus in here. But, you know, that 56 has been a number all year. And uh, the um, Society of Jesus loved that number. They coded into everything. But anyway, from Wednesday, October 21st, 2020 to Tuesday, December 15th, 2020 is 56 days. Kim Kardashian equals 56 in full reduction. Jocelyn Kano equals 56, reverse full reduction. Wow. The model died on December 7th, exactly 97 days before her upcoming birthday. Um, and her birthday is March 14th, 1991. So from Monday, December 7th, 2020. To Sunday, March 14th, 2021, is 97 days. My goodness. The word death equates to 97 in reverse ordinal. The model passed after getting a BBL, Brazilian butt lift.
Okay, so the word, the phrase Brazilian butt lift equates to 257 in reverse ordinal cipher. Blood sacrifice equates to 257 in the reverse ordinal. And that is the um, end of that blog. But, you know, just amazing, amazing, amazing what has taken place. And, uh, and it is amazing. And I was listening to Simple Truth earlier today when he was saying how amazing it is. And I'm paraphrasing, but how amazing it is that you can tell people this information over and over again. Show example after example, and people still don't get it. Um, I was talking to um, one of my relatives about it, but, you know, their um, attitude about this information is like maybe you're a Debbie Downer or, you know, like they don't want to hear it or it's... Um, I don't know how in the world people don't want to know this information. I just can't for the life of me. I don't understand how they don't want to know. And But one beautiful thing is that I uh, purchased um, Zachary K. Hubbard's uh, first book, Letters and Numbers. And I've since had several copies of that book um, put into print. And I have an aunt, you know, she's 76 years old. And she gets the information. She, I send her a book. She reads the book. And it is amazing, and um, you know, I'm just glad she's reading it. But I've sent it to several people who has not read. It. I, I bet they won't even crack the book. And I, just, I mean, it is. I heard a, a person call into um, Zachary K. Hubbard's show uh, some time ago, maybe about a week or so, and they were saying that this is like the Holy Grail, and it is. This information is true, and you can prove it over and over and over and over again. But nobody wants to see it nobody wants to understand it or they find a reason to reason it away but all I can say is I am glad to know it and can I change the world like I said no but I can change the world around me to a degree you know and uh, with that said I'm going to uh, call it a, a day on this um, blog and I'll be back to read another blog um, I'm not sure from who yet. Probably Zach, because I like all of his work. He has so much to choose from. And uh, but be sure to check out SimpleTruthTelevision.blogspot.com. Check out FreeDefiningTruth.blogspot.com, and uh, that's Zach's channel, as well as his latest one, GematriaEffect.news, because um, <clears throat> Zachary K. Hubbard has uncovered information that is just <laughs> it's phenomenal. And I just hope you'll take the time to learn Gematria and see what it does, see how it is being used. And with that said, you guys have a great, uh, good evening, and I'll see you.